Hey guys, Jameson Redding here with Jackson Kayak, and I want to walk you through the 2021 Mayfly. The Mayfly comes in at 12 feet, 8 inches long, 35 inches wide, weighs 94 pounds, and has a weight capacity of 450, making it a super versatile platform for inshore, small lakes, rivers, ponds, and we specifically designed the Mayfly to really be great for fly fishing. And we'll see what that means here in a moment. As we go through the Mayfly, you'll notice the fit and finish on this boat is top notch. And we're gonna take a look at it from bow to stern, but some of the things that you'll notice is the padding and how many different places we have put it in. And that's great when you're sight fishing and you're trying to be quiet and stalk those fish on the flats. Anything you set down or move around on the boat, that sound's gonna be deadened by that pad. So keep your eye out for that. Starting here at the bow, you'll notice we have a nice handle and I've hung the flag that comes in the accessory pack off the handle here. But just under the handle, there's a little molded in divot. And that's for when you're working with a fly rod, sometimes it's really hard to get to the tip of a nine foot rod. So if you turn it around and stick the butt of the rod right here in this little divot, that allows you to have access to the tip of the rod so that you can pull your fly line through or whatever. So again, this is designed kind of specifically with the fly fisherman in mind, but it still makes a great boat uh, for a lot of people. Moving back, we have the nice big hatch here. It does have the Hypalon strap and that's so you can slide your paddle under and keep it when you're fighting a fish. And that is snag free, so you don't have to worry about hooks. Opening up the hatch, the Mayfly does come with the insert tub, so if you want stuff not to kind of move around in the boat, you can throw it in there, but lift it out, you have access to the hole of the boat. Great for storage. Also on the hatch, we've improved the gasket this year, so it's a little more robust on the front and back of the boat, and that just helps prevent any water getting inside the hatch. On either side of the hatch, you'll notice we have a short piece of gear track. Again, this boat is designed to be as clean as possible so fly line doesn't snag it, but we've provided tons of gear track as we go through this boat um, in order for you to mount whatever accessories that you may want or keep it as clean as you may want. We also have two inserts here. They're quarter 20 inserts. So if you want to mount a camera or anything like that using the quarter 20, you can. Moving back. We have rod tip protectors. So these are tubes that run the length of from here to the bow of the boat. So if you are running your rods down the side or even a fly rod, you can run up to nine foot fly rod down and protect that rod tip and keep it tucked in so it's not catching anything. Again, we have more gear track here on either side and I've got the Omega rod holder that does come with the Mayfly mounted here. The foot bracing is a little bit different in this boat, and again, that is because of fly fishing. Fly line tends to snag on anything you can wrap around. So we came up with this foot brace in order to keep it as clean as possible. You simply slide the foot brace by loosening the two thumb screws, and you can slide it along the gear track here in the middle. Underneath that foot brace, here on either side, are your two transducer scuppers. We try to give you a big enough transducer scupper to fit most modern transducers out there but you will have to check that fitting. It does come with the stand assist strap that you can take on or off. And in the middle of the foot brace, you'll notice that we have a little bit of padding here. And this does a couple of things. If you're laying something down like your rod, it's gonna hit that and not make a, a loud noise. But also it's a great place to dry lures or flies uh, when you're changing those out. Either side, again, there's gear track. If you did wanna mount a small battery underneath this, it makes a great place to be able to keep that battery tucked in and then you can actually mount your fish finder on top of the foot track and run the wiring for the transducer right through it. Keeps it nice and clean. As we move back into the cockpit area, you'll notice on each side that we have a couple of little hatch doors. Opening those up, it makes a great place to store some soft plastics or a small fly box. It's also padded on the inside of the door, so if you need to dry those flies or use it as a fly patch. Just behind that, you'll notice we have a pad eye on each side of the boat, and that's so if you are a fly fisherman and you're using that tippet, you can clip your tippet spools here to the side. In the middle, we have a little bit of padding and a scoop, and that's a great place to stage a reel, especially a fly reel. If you're moving from one spot to the other or looking for fish, it's padded. You don't have to worry about it clinking on the bottom of the boat and spooking those fish. The Mayfly does come with the under seat tray, which is just another place that you can put more tackle, more boxes, uh, just more storage in general, and then tuck it away up underneath the seat. On each side, just in front of the seat here, you'll notice the handle, and we also have a little piece of bungee there. So you can lay your paddle shaft right on top of the handle and bungee your paddle to the side of the boat. As we take a look at the seat itself, you'll notice that it can slide forward and aft on the tracks. 
and that allows you to trim the seat based on how you have the boat loaded to get the most performance out of it. You can also trim the seat all the way back just to give you more standing and deck space. It goes high and low as well simply by pulling the pins out on each side, lifting it out of the cradle, and dropping it into the low position, then replace the pins. On the back of the seat we have the Molly system as well, and that works with a lot of the accessories that we have and offer through our store. As I mentioned, we have tons of gear track on this boat, so on both sides of the seat you'll notice even more gear track. It is aluminum gear track, so super strong and just allows you to keep it as clean and as simple as you want or add anything and everything that you want. Moving behind the seat, you'll notice we have flush mount rod holders on each side. Again, this boat is great for the fly angler, but also great for just any type of fishing. So we wanted to include those flush mounts for all types of rods. We do also have on each side kind of a pocket again for reels to sit in. So if you do have that nine foot fly rod, you can run it all the way down the length of the boat run the tips into the rod tip protectors at the bow, the tubes, and then you can store the reel here in this protected pocket. And we have a bungee right here that goes over the handle of the rod to hold it in place. In addition, here on the perch, if you take a look underneath, there's another cutout area. And that allows you to orient your rods pointed to the back of the boat, out the stern, keeping the sides and the gunnels even cleaner. Here in the middle, we have a very large tank well area. It is framed on three sides by aluminum gear track, so even more places to mount those accessories and strap things down. The bungee itself is adjustable and can be moved around to fit your needs. It's easy to strap and unstrap as well. Just behind the tank well, there's one more piece of gear track, so if you want to have that overhead camera angle, it just gives you a great place to mount things as well. Then here on the stern, we have the large hatch, giving you access to all the storage inside the boat. On the side, you'll notice we have the drain plug, and then we have the four molded-in inserts that fit the power pole bracket and a torpedo mount or any other mount that utilizes the four-hole pattern. And there you have the 2021 Mayfly. For more information on accessories and where to find a dealer, check out jacksonadventures.com.